Hey, what's going on, you twisted twat waffles? Welcome to day 487 of Build Back Better, where nothing is built, nothing is back, and nothing is better. I'm Toxic Male, and this is Grunt Speak Live, episode 143. <laughs> that drunk drill sergeant is Terrence Pop. What's up, you uh, sissy suckers? <laughs> don't be a sissy sucker. I'm just don't saying. be a sissy sucker, and for the love of Christ, don't be a left toy. Yeah, you got to bear with me tonight. I'm fucking beat down, tired, shit. He got uh, he got his ass handed to him today in the I, sparring. No, no, it was there. yesterday. Oh, it was yesterday. Okay, and I wasn't sparring. No, uh, I was in the ring moving around with these guys. One was 18, one was 17. They weighed 145 and 151 respectively. Oh, I thought they pummeled you. Well, they played mumbly peg with my face. <laughs> It was fucking horrible. It was inspiring. You got pummeled. <laughs> yeah, I literally. And they were so fucking bad. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> oh, you fucker. <laughs> I'm so tired and out of shit. So I went in there today, and I'm like, I'm going to get my endurance back. It's going to take me a while. Cause oh, there you go. Yeah. I got to go run my endurance down because it's, uh, it's basically escaped me. And <laughs> yeah. It's not good. It's not good. Well. Go I came back from the gym today, and I literally laid on the floor for like an hour and a half. <laughs> I got up, ate a little dinner, had a Red Bull, drank a bunch of water, and came here. Things happen, brother. Woo! Things happen. But, Woo! you know, you know, this is this is a classic thing here. All right. Classic thing or classic mistake? No, classic mistake okay. men make. All right. So I am now a few years away from being labeled a senior citizen. And my mind still thinks I can do stuff like I, I was 20. That is how you get killed. <laughs> I, I need to stop that. <laughs> and you know what? I learned this lesson years ago because I remember some old dudes coming in the in the uh, ring to spar with me, and I fucking just mumbly pinged them. Yeah. And I'm just like, and I literally, I, I I get out, I step through the ropes, uh, leaving the ring, and I'm like, wow, I'm that old guy, I'm ugly picked. That's what happens, man. We got so. good pop, evil pop, bad pop, and soon we're gonna have thanks thanks to uh, Tacitus Kilgore, AARP pop. <sighs> you're gonna you're gonna join the ranks of the no, acronyms. Not joining the <laughs> AARP. Fuck them. They, they're uh, all for they're for gun control and gun banning. And, and we're going to talk a little bit about that tonight. Yeah, and um, like USAA, if you if you have insurance with them, you need to really uh, search other companies because I just found out. You know, I have USAA on my house that my mother lives in, and uh, I'm paying like one third more. And they're supposed to be like, you know, oh, we're well, really good for servicemen and oh, veterans. It's oh, a scam. Help you out. Oh, we're different. We love you. Yeah, and I'm sorry I went off in the weeds here, but my mother called me up. And she's really upset, and she told me the deal. And I went over there, looked at the paperwork, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. And you know what? Here's the worst part: is I bought this really good house in Berkeley in '08, '09 when the market was tanking. It was uh, right about the time that we shot Purple Hearts Fire. Uh huh. Is in that house. And then I made the mistake of allowing my mother to move in because she squandered her house. And lo and behold, and I you, had to buy another fucking house. <laughs> and didn't you attempt to arrange a very, you know, a very nice, easy move for her? And yes. all she had to do was pack her shit. Nothing. And then you brought a whole truck full of dudes over there. And Thirteen it was guys. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing was packed. And I'm, I like, I've always been like the guy when I show up to move. I tell him, I'm like, I'll be there on Saturday. I'm only moving big stuff. I don't, yeah. I'm not packing boxes, and they're exactly, like, "Cause yeah. it, I, I'm so, I'm sacrificing a day. I'm willing to come in there, and you want to disrespect me by like, oh yeah, yeah. Not only are you gonna move my shit, but you're gonna pack it for me. Fuck off. F that. And, I, and it was my mother, and I'm like, you know what? Fine. I told these guys like, dump everything on the floor. We're taking the furniture. Fuck this. And we had everything out of there in 45 minutes. Hell yeah. 45 minutes. That's packing it up from her house. Driving it roughly three quarters of a mile to the new house and loading That's it in there. Bad. And I, I took everything. I took the doors. <laughs> okay. Um, I would have taken the stove if it worked. It didn't. <laughs> uh, you know, I, what yep. are you going to do? You know, okay. she, she fucking uh, squandered her house. It got four clothes done. What's done is done. Yeah. 
See, I mean, you want to, and listen, I, I am getting really sick and tired. I have the ASP and I have the ability to, to look at something and project down the road what's going to happen. And, and I have a very high accuracy rate. Yeah. And I remember I got out of college, started working in finance. I refinanced my mother's house. She owed less than $10,000 on it. And we had to roll in like, seven, I think it was $17,000 for the credit cards. And I looked her in the face and I said, Ma, if you do this again, it's you're not going to be able to recover from it. What did she do? Well, she opened a business, financed everything with credit cards, and then lost the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. I have no idea why women, for the most part, I... <laughs> I don't understand why women think that credit cards are just free money. Yeah. Uh, it's just, like just like student loans. Uh, just like student loans. Yeah, the government needs to pay off my student loans. No, no, no. That was a loan. Yep. You pay it back. That's the way shit works. And if you're, if you're going to give away free money to all these asshats who don't even attempt it, I mean, where's my reimbursement check? Yeah. I paid mine off. Yeah, I paid mine. I paid Thank my, you very much. I literally paid my student loans with blood money. Well, there you go. I wa- I paid him with the proceeds of uh, the big money fights I had towards the tail end of my career. Those are good times. Well, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I I wasn't in I wasn't in the sport for the money. No, I was on a quest for for for, for perfection. Yes, and uh, I I never found it, but uh, you know, you know, it still uh, it was a good journey. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. The warrior's journey. <laughs> it's yes. never easy. And every journey comes to an end. Uh, just uh, mm-hmm. on that note, we have to raise a glass. We found out today uh, Mr. Ray Liotta of Goodfellas fame. I mean, he got like a whole new lease on fame because of the memetics generation. Uh-huh. You know, recycling that scene from Goodfellas passed away today, I believe, 67, 68 years old. Yep. And uh, dude's a legend, so I'm going to raise this shot to him. 65 and out playing, plus two. There's to you, sir. Yeah, you know what? I, I really enjoyed him as an actor. Yeah. He wasn't really very political, which I, which I, I liked. Yeah. I, I liked that, too. It's like, you pretend for a living, so just go do that. Yes. And they'll leave the politics to everyone else yeah. who doesn't get paid to pretend. Yeah, and somehow all of these people who do play these pretend lives think to have all this expertise to tell you what to fucking do with your life. <laughs> I mean, get, uh, yeah. go fuck yourself, Hollywood. I mean, these are all Epstein's friends, so as far as I'm concerned, yeah. they have uh, they have no right to be telling me what to do. But, ooh. Oh, that, that had to be painted on. That came <laughs> It's neither here nor there. And hey, today is Thought Thursday, so why not... Start things off with a thought. Here we go. I couldn't believe this when it was sent to me. Uh huh. Carmen Electra has started an OnlyFans at age fifty. Now Carmen Electra was she the one that hung out with Prince? Uh, I don't know. If she used to hang out with Prince. She's the one that was married briefly to Dennis Rodman. Oh God. And, and now imagine this, okay? Imagine being next in line after him to tag that shit one, okay? Now imagine Uh being the dude who's never going to tag that disease-infested pea sleeve, but you're still going to pay to look at it at 50. At 50. Listen. That's a hard pass. (sighs) Yeah. I hope this this is a failed venture so uh, other women can learn. Now, listen. Listen. I'm 50. All right. And... I usually look for women in their early 40s or maybe younger. Yeah. Um, And I've noticed, you know, most of the women that I was running into, I just could not fucking stand them. (laughs) Uh, I think they hung around maybe for 45 to 60 days because, you know, it gets to the point where in my mind, when they speak, it's an orchestra of teeth and fingernails on a chalkboard. And Amen. and then after that, they got to go. Now, imagine that, mm. and they want you to pay for it without oh, no. ever getting to touch it. No. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, I mean, this woman has been used and abused. and you know, oh, I mean, yeah, I'm sure that her plastic surgeon does great work. But at the end of the day, 
this is still uh-huh. a quarter stick of dynamite inside a beef and cheddar sandwich. <laughs> yeah, at my age, you know what I find attractive now? What? Cool points. And if I can get along with them. Yes. And if they'll leave you alone when you need to be left Absolutely alone. correct. That it, that means all the world to me. No one likes a nagger. Well, the whole world has improved because of nagging. Improved? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, well, there's a lot of stuff out there that women take for granted now that men made. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, dishwashers, no, clothes washing, a furnace that actually blows hot air all over the house, and you don't have to stuff <laughs> wood in it every hour and a half. Yeah. You got water coming in your house. I, I could just see like, oh, I, do, I just spent yeah. all day bringing in buckets of water from the well. And the dude's like, okay, let's see what we got here. All right, I uh, could put a pipe in there, put a pump on it, and uh, I'll tell you what, it'll come <laughs> right into the house, and all you got to do is pump the Yeah, it'd be great. And women today, they benefit from all of that, and what do they do? They still complain about they it. They still bitch. We're still oppressed. Uh, sure. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. I'm and so And they still complain about doing too much housework. Like, virtually all the housework is done by basically robots. Uh, you got to do what? Dust? Well, I don't dust. Y- you get to push the vacuum cleaner? Yeah. <laughs> or you can buy the little robot one. That, you know, you can put, like, googly eyes on it and have it run around their house fucking staring at everything. I well, mean, literally, men have taken care of it all. Yeah, you go to Egypt, and I spent some time there when I was in the MFO, and, like, women do the laundry, they, and they wash the rugs and hang everything up on lines in the backyard. That is a huge fucking, you know... Output of energy and time. Yeah, but now our the women here, you know, you, your your carpet's <laughs> dirty. You have a machine. It takes fifteen minutes. Yeah. Do your laundry. I can wash five pantoons of my clothes <laughs> in a, two hours, and, and they'll be washed and dried with my washing machine and dryer. And all of that was invented because of nagging. That's right. And you know, and the pa- It's uh, so hard. And, and the pantoon is simply <laughs> this. I wear the pants. These ones here, I pretty much wear the just these. I have like 13 pairs of them, which are nasty sacks. Yeah, and when I, my my clothes get dirty, I take them off and I stuff them full of other, you know, dirty laundry so I can carry them down to the basement and wash them. Yeah. I call them pantoons. Hey, whatever works for you, man. <laughs> and normally when I get around five pantoons, it's time to really do laundry. Because <laughs> I'm lazy. I'm well, honest. no one really likes doing laundry. So, to be fair. No, you're right. You're right. You know, it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, but we got uh, the next one hang here. On, hang it, on. Let me look at that butt. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It looks like it's been hacked on it. Yeah, those pockets are for decoration only. Yeah. And it's, it looks... I don't know, maybe there was some surgical intervention. Yeah, that's quite possible. Uh, Today, with all these Instagram thoughts, they all look the same. They look like they all go to the same lip doctor. They all get their their eyebrows microbladed, whatever the fucking damn hell that is. They all look the same, and yet they all want to be treated like unique special snowflakes. That's right. In college, I had a girlfriend, and uh, she was going through beautician school. And I made the mistake of allowing her to wax my eyebrows and nose. Wow, that well, was... Well, your nose could probably use it. That was eyebrow. special. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. I remember they put the wow. thing in there, and they're like... <laughs> and ripped out all the hair, ah! and I sneezed for like 10 minutes. And then <laughs> yeah. they did it again on the other side, <laughs> and I sneezed for another 10 minutes. It was miserable. That is actually one of the funniest things I've ever filmed at a wedding. Oh. I was on a party bus, and somebody just happened to notice that the groom had a few hairs that were just kind of scraggly, like blown in the wind down there. Like, you know, I'm sure dogs for a five-mile radius could hear the whistling. And he comes up, and he's like, hang on. And he grabs a hold of him on camera. I'm filming the whole time, and he just goes, yeah. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His eyes start watering. and he's like yeah. wiping him and stuff. <laughs> That's the way it goes. That is the way it goes, man. You know, and uh, when we were at NTC, one of my soldiers had the, one of the hairiest backs I've ever seen. Oh. And we all th- we all threw in money for him to get his back back. <laughs> we're, like, we're like, I'd pay money to I'm see like, that. Hey, I'm like, hey, man, how about we get your back waxed? He's like, fuck you, man. 
fuck you, sorry, that's fucked up. <laughs> I'm like, would you do it for fifty dollars? No, 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 I won't. Would you do it for a hundred dollars? Well, no. Would you do it for a hundred and fifty dollars? Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's get the truck. We're getting his back wet. <laughs> It was brutal. I bet it was. Oh, my God. It was terrible. Damn. Mm. That's just uh, monkey back. It was, yeah, but the thing is, we had time off. We're grunts. You got to do something. We're waxing your back. Yeah, it's either that or, you know, <laughs> find all the empty Pringles cans you can get. We're in the room. There's like 15 of us going. <laughs> ah! oh. <laughs> it's just like that scene in 40-year-old virgin. Yeah. You know, it gets, <laughs> it's just, no, nipple fuck! <laughs> You look like a man o' lantern. <laughs> but you know, I thought that was that was great. <laughs> uh this is not great. This okay. is this feels redundant to just say it. Woke scientists complain that there are too few parasites named after women. You see I, why this is like Department of Redundancy Department? Oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> this is a prime example of why we still have fucking soap operas. And it's a prime example of people not believing the science, because when this is the science that you trot out... Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? Who do you expect to pay attention to this and actually take it seriously? Uh, yeah, one of the main reasons is when somebody discovers something, they normally name it after them. Yeah. So, guess what? More men are working in this field. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! We don't need to be naming parasites after women. Because women because are most the parasite. women are parasites. Yeah. <laughs> so it's true. Hey, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. I mean, oh. uh, Tony Soprano says, "I think we need a moment of silence for Ray Liotta." You must have tuned in late, sir, because we already did. we already did it, bro. We already, we already did. did. Well, we had a toast. He's gonna be missed. Uh, yeah, I like that guy. And you know what? Yeah. He he truly was on the 65 and out plan. I, I guess he was. Because he was a smoking, drinking motherfucker. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. So, I mean, he puts my drink into shame. I've never smoked nothing, nor will yeah. I. But Yeah, not a big deal. Yeah. And what is this? Uh, nearly 3,000 new parasites have been discovered over the last 20 years. Most of these blood-sucking, skin-nibbling, mind-hijacking little beasties are given innocuous Latin names. But of the 5% named after human beings, only 18% honored women. Like, is this really what we're going to whine about yeah. now? I mean, do, is that all we have to complain about? This is when you know female privilege has gone completely unnoticed wow. by those who carry it. I mean, they are literally zooming into the gnat's ass to find shit to complain about. <laughs> it's because they have all the rights and privileges and we don't have any. Everything that yep. men have, we've earned. And there is not a single thing that a man has earned that women out there have not complained about and tried to have taken away from him. Now, don't so. get me wrong. There's women out there that work their ass off and, and make their own money. Oh, and I, absolutely. I, I respect those people wholeheartedly. I just have a problem when they make all that money and they still bitch about making all that money and they find nothing but problems and everything. Yeah. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. I mean, you, you live in this big house, you drive a fucking crazy-ass car, and you want to complain about shit? Yep. Like, get the fuck out of here. Uh, I love this paragraph right here. It sums it up perfectly. Here we go. Consider that there were a historic number of women who were elected to the 117th Congress in 2020, and honestly, can you think of a better parasite than the U.S. federal government? No, I can't. <laughs> in other words, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a, look at that. What a bunch of shit. Fuck those people. God damn it. Oh, and it gets worse. It gets worse. Mm -hmm. I mean, in in woke-tastic Joe Biden's America, it can always wait, get wait, worse. Whoa, whoa. Always. All right, you just said a word I, I like. Woke-tastic. Woke <laughs> All right, that's comedy gold there. Woke-tabulous. No, woke-tastic. Woke-tastic. Oh, and yeah. this, I mean, if we're, we're going to go on a scale of wokeness, uh, average Netflix program, this is definitely edging that out. Behold. Oh, here we go. The fatness spectrum. We have already covered this. How many videos have we done? Well, apparently now this, is, this isn't this is us making fun of fat people. This is fat people demanding your respect all right. By classifying them as either small, mid, super, or infinifat. 
right. Oh. I'm I'm actually upset that we did not come up with Infinifat. Oh my God, that's right. <laughs> For that, one. that is funny. But, but the thing is, uh, let, let's just talk about respect here. Most of the people watching this are men. Yes. All right. First of all, as a man, you guys are watching <laughs> this. You're watching this channel, me, because you like the, the grunt and the masculinity. And you are it. intelligent people. Who, yeah. who know that the world is not what it is portrayed as by the talking heads in the big square box in yeah. your home. Yeah, this is fucking insane. <laughs> and of course, where does this come from? Oh! T TikTok. Oh, man. Okay, and there's that's a, a That's 354 bills right there. Yeah, there's a, a video. That, there's a reason why the camera is so close up on her face. Because, we, we uh, know uh, hang works. on, hang on. This is her. Yes. I'm sexy. I'm going to go sign up for BBW Stripper Day in Detroit. <laughs> Literally having to massage the air in and out of her windpipe because and, it's being crushed by they, mountains of gelatinous fat. Yeah, and they always do this iceberg photographing. I know. You just see the top of the iceberg out of the water. And, you and don't see that, the train wreck that's going to fuck your life up if you come near this. This already looks like a train wreck, and it's yeah. just the, the top it, half. Is this the a top, video? Yeah, there's a video let, here. Let, let's see what she has to say. Oh, man. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this. Okay. Okay, this is the fatness spectrum. Oh, God, look at the folds in the neck. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, my. Here we go. There's your fold here. Get that's a, fold a shame. Here, fold this girl's, here. what, 26 years old, and look how fat she is. It's oh. terrible. Man, Poor girl. Just, Walk just, it off, baby. You've been drinking the Walmart milk. You need to start watching some Bill Burr. You ate your way into it. You <laughs> walk your way out. Amen. I mean, that a small fat is a size 18 and lower. One a small fat is a size 18 and lower. By the way, 18 is now the average dress size. All right. Let's just put this in. A, wow. In, do a look up 18 dress size and what the actual waist diameter of that is in inches. Oh, the actual waist size for a size 18 yeah, dress? Yeah, okay, because a size we, 18 uh, dress. Because this is like one of the camouflage things that women have been doing for years. Oh, is yeah. They have numbers uh, for dress sizes, and they have slim, petite, la, la, la. Yeah. You know. Let's see. Size, size 18. 18. Okay, we have it right here. This is the bust. U.S. dress size chart. Uh, bust is 44 to 45. Okay. That's... Waist is 36 to 38. Hips is 45 to 47. All right. So the waist, I mean, I am 207 pounds, and my waist is 36 or 37. Hmm. Okay. So these women are getting out of control. Just a bit. That's and this huge. is now the average. I mean, wasn't the average a size Four, eight like twenty years ago? I don't know. I know it was. Uh, it was a size fourteen. It was a size fourteen the last time I checked. Yeah, and I'm now not... it's up to eighteen. And I remember when I was a kid and I was in high school, it was like a size six or a size eight was the average. Yeah. So in twenty some odd years, we have gone up a full ten dress sizes. That's a Tourette's the elbow problem. Yes, it is. You just can't control it. You just keep throwing the food in your mouth. I can't stop it. I, I, oh, oh. I love this. You're a small fat. Why are you speaking over super fats? Oh, I'm sorry, because super fat is now something to be proud of? Let, uh, let's listen. What else do you have to say? Wow. Let's hear the rest 1X or 2X? I'm a 4X, 5X. I'm a size 26, <gasps> sometimes 28. I am the super fat you say I'm speaking over. I can tell because... Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, super fat. I mean, I can give them credit. If the goal here is to steal the thunder, well done. Well done. Amen. Amen. But I don't really think that's what's going on here. <laughs> well, I, I can look at this woman right here, and I'll tell you, that, uh, she is so fat. She is, where, where are your tits fat? I mean, are we really going to pretend like there's some sort of a victim hierarchy in eating yourself to death? Uh, Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. Wow. I, I've watched people eat themselves to death. Talk about puking on a pile of shit. It's not pleasant. It is very much not pleasant. Uh, and it is a slow, horrid ending, too. Yes. Yes. Oof. Not, uh, it's not good. No. It's not good at all. I, I just... I, wow. 
<laughs> what can you even say to something like this? I mean, to be honest with you, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Well, yeah, Infinifat. How big is Infinifat? Infinifat. Well, I, let me see if I can blow this up. Okay, so that is a 6X or higher, size 34 or higher. Are, are, we, are we referring to the number of acres of material required to cover your fat ass? Uh, some Torrid 6, whatever the hell that is. I have no idea. Looks wow. like you know, when you get that big, you, you're going to have to buy drapes. Wait, that that's 600-pound life yeah. fat. Yeah, that's insane. And these people are addicts, and, and instead of recognizing that they're addicts, they have mental issues and they require serious treatment. Now we're giving them reality shows and apparently creating a victim hierarchy where the more they punish themselves into an early grave, somehow the more they're the louder they're allowed to speak in said community. Well, here's the, here's the thing. <laughs> this is kind of like the, the confused poles and holes community. Yeah. They want to force you to accept their insanity. And uh, I'm not yeah. doing it. That's not I'm not happen. doing it. Yeah, listen. Not going to happen. When you are able to have your own theme song playing wherever you go, 24-7, <laughs> 365, <laughs> then maybe I would bend a little bit and change the whole fucking languages across the entire fucking earth <laughs> because you don't know where you fall on the gender. You look down. If there's an Audi... You're a man. You look down, it's any, you're a woo man. A woo it's man. just that simple. Exactly. This is absolute insanity created by the left who are mentally fucking weak. You knew it was coming. Yeah, that was a good You knew one. it was coming. <laughs> I'm getting spun up here. I'm getting spun up. Hey, it's all good, man. Would you like to do a quick roll call? Yes, let's do a roll call. All right, we're going to do a quick roll call here. I hope everybody's been enjoying the show tonight. We got 700 even watching us over on YouTube with only 302 likes, dude. Smash that shit. You guys are being lazy over there. Yeah. We got 48 watching currently on MGTOW.TV, 422 currently tuned in over on Rumble. 75 on Odyssey, DLive is rocking 60, and Twitch is sitting at 65. All right, cool. Outstanding. We're going to run a quick ad for Administrative Violence, which is coming out Monday. I hope you guys have signed up over on the site, manopay.net. There's going to be a paid post that goes live on midnight Memorial Day. And I, I was forwarding all the requests for hard copies to you. Yes. Yeah, we are getting some requests for hard copies. If you do want a hard copy, it'll be available via USB. Mm -hmm. Email us. I'm going to make sure I keep them all together. We'll let we'll work with you guys on how to accept the payment for it, and uh -huh. then we'll get you one in the mail. Listen, man, I'm just trying to save lives. And I explained so this. I explained this. I just filmed a lair today. Yep. Because I had a lot of, I addressed this because I had a lot of people like, you you're gouging people and you, you're a sellout. Listen, I, I've saved 437 lives by just talking. Those are just the ones you know about. That I know about. I, I need to ramp this up and get my name out there more and that requires money. Yes. Okay. And I'm sorry. I, I, I am retired. I don't have cash. I haven't made anything really doing this. No. For the past 12 years. You and I tend to invest a lot. Yeah. Back into this show. Oh, yeah, I mean, because I... everything that you see here, yeah, <laughs> it requires a lot of investment time. And in my case, I'm literally figuring out a lot of the shit as we go. But like, I would love to get a billboard in New York Times Square. Oh man, do you have any idea that the butt hurt, the level of butt hurt for putting up something that red pilled in It'll... the middle of Times Square? I want, I want to put, I really want to do that. <laughs> I want to get the domain. Don't marry the bitch. Don't Put that her. all over the country and it all points back to Redonculus and I'll be in there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. All right, guys, check out the ad for administrative violence coming to you Monday. We'll be back shortly. And uh, we're going to get into some, uh, well, the main point of the episode, which is you can't have it both ways. This is leftoid hypocrisy at its finest. Let us know what you think are some of the best pieces of leftoid hypocrisy with your chats. We could do a stream for 10 hours and not cover them all. Yep. We're just covering the highlights that are currently in the news right now. Mm -hmm. So we'll be back in two. Anyone out there who believes in male privilege has never been inside divorce or family court. And anyone who's been chewed up and spit out by that system realizes the Constitution does not apply to you. As a man, you only have two options. Sit down and take it or play the long game. 
At least that's what it used to be. <laughs> Introducing secret option number three. <laughs> I'm Terrence Pop, an army vet, evil genius, and a non custodial parent. I'm going to teach you how to weaponize the system and level the scales of justice. Administrative violence is my first webinar, and I already have over four hours of content. This is a game changer for men. This webinar is going to teach you how to flip bureaucracy on its head and make it work for you for a change from the shadows. <laughs> It's only 200 bucks for the entire webinar, but if you have been supporting the show, we're going to send you a coupon code so you can save some cash. Administrative Violence Divorce and Custody Edition goes on sale Memorial Day for five days only, win, lose, or draw, and it's available exclusively on manopay.net. You'll get access to the whole catalog of videos. So, you think you disgusting pukes have what it takes to become a black belt in administrative violence? Ha ha ha! I don't think so. Including interviews with men who have survived this cluster. <laughs> Screw. And a workbook to help you through it. So mark your calendars for Memorial Day and spread the word. Because as a man, they already hate you. <laughs> Might as well give them a good reason. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff, man. Well, it's we'll a see lot what of work. happens. It's been a lot of work. Years for you, five months of production for me. Well, here's the thing. Um, I have always been that guy. Even when I was in the Army, I, I would have officers, officers come to my office, tell me their problems, and, I, and they'd be like, how do I get attention onto this problem so we can fix it. And I, I would literally, like, I don't worry, I'll handle it. And I supercharged the goddamn system. So now I have like everyone, ah, you know. Oh. I literally had a memo put on Rumsfeld's desk. Nice. Because I wanted to supercharge that system. And I got hate mail from Sergeant Major Preston of the Army because of it. Oh, I bet you did. Yeah. That's why I didn't get promoted to Sergeant Major. So you've been, you're very accustomed to hate mail. Yes. Is what it comes well, to. he didn't send hate mail. He was, he was just a fucking idiot. And I would love nothing better <laughs> to kick his ass if I see him. He's been retired for years. I just want to, uh, I hope I don't see him because he's a dick. Well. Speaking of idiots, that's basically what the whole rest of the stream is going to be about. We are going to read your super chats when we go over to New Tech, and we're going to be doing some fucked up but funny tonight. Yeah, and please, yeah. Uh, be patient with us, because <laughs> this is going to be a bad one. Yes, it's going to be a very bad one. So we're going to start out here with just a meme here, which I like. Donkey pox, the disease killing America. <laughs> <laughs> How fitting. How fitting. And Yeah, especially considering everything we're going to go over tonight. Now, a lot of people out there probably already seen this tweet mm -hmm. from our former Kenyan in chief. Well, well, hang on, hang on. Did you watch the Tim Pool where he was going over the fact that Democrats are abandoning the party? Oh, it, that's it, been ongoing now for the but last But the thing is, years. is they did like a, uh, like the, the Republicans. Yeah. They did like a, one of those polls. Mm hmm And... He literally was like, this is fucking insane. It's never happened before at the primaries, the amount of yeah. Republicans who've yeah, come it, out. Yeah, it was like three or four to one Yeah, in some places. Yeah, it's fucking going to be brutal. And yeah. I, I, I'm going to predict this right now. They're going to cheat and try to have another ice cream social event. Well, wh why do you think we're seeing all of these distractions? Yeah, so I'm, I'm telling you all right now who watch this show, when it gets posted, share it out. Yeah. Because we need to have the militia units from across the country at the polling stations where all of the craziness took place in 2020. And we need to have count, you know, listen, the light of truth is the best disinfectant. Amen. And if you have 500 dudes nearby watching all the shit go down, filming it, whatever, maybe there are, maybe they're not, who knows what's going to happen, but... It definitely is a huge 
a huge uh, curver of bad behavior. Yes, it is. Oh, here's another. Here's another one they could easily do. If they, if you're in a state that has like the mail in balance, <laughs> you put a trail cam with the night vision option nearby. And film everyone dropping off ballots. Yeah, you might find some more of those uh, mules. Mules, I'm telling you. Of now listen, if it's variety. one person comes up one time and puts their ballot in, fine. I'm not a f- uh, listen. I'm not a fan of mail-in ballots. No. Well, but, because they've been proven to be the biggest source of uh, odd fray. Yeah. And that's why Europe doesn't have. So I love how we idolize Europe. Well, Democrats idolize Europe. Mm-hmm. One thing that Europe does not have and will never have because they flat out said they're not going to have it, mail-in ballots. That's absolutely correct. <laughs> but yet somehow, yeah, you know, somehow, you know, we need to have all of these mail-in ballots. Got to make it easier. Got to take away the ID. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Like, it, literally. <clears throat> yeah. 20, 2022 and 2024, if, if they keep doing what they're doing, it's going to kick off. It's going to kick off. Yep. Hopefully not, but it requires action on the ground. That's this right. Is, this is not something that can be solved from the top down. It has to be solved from the bottom up. Yeah, and the right, he needs to start organizing and putting together people that are going to be at these polls and watch what's going on when people are voting or counting the votes and don't let them fucking kick you out. Exactly. Like what happened at Cobo? Listen, that the fucking fiasco at Cobo Hall Can't would get not get too in detail. We're going to get fucked. I don't, well, it wouldn't have <laughs> happened if five hundred motherfuckers were there all night yes. watching what happened. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's quite ridiculous. I'm getting spun up over. Oh, it's all right. That's uh, you're going to get spun up over this too. Uh, yeah, Kenyon and Chief Barry. As we grieve the children of Uvalde today, we should take time to recognize that two years have passed since the murder of George Floyd, correction overdose, under the knee of a police officer. His killing stays with us all to this day, especially those who loved him. Well, yeah, listen, and those who loved him, if he died, they're going to be hurt and upset. That's all well and good. But let me just say this. Um... Innocent children cowering in a classroom. Um, convicted felon, former porn star, drug addict who pistol whipped a pregnant woman. Same thing, right? Uh, right? Uh, uh, Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> I've been waiting correct. to do that all day. <laughs> That's absolutely correct. Fuck you, Barry. And, and this dude is a piece of shit. He was a he piece is. of shit when he was the president. He's a fucking horrible fucking human being. He I'm, is. He's fucking garbage. Yeah. The fact that people actually think of him as the best president of their lifetime. Uh, are they out of wow. their goddamn mind? Wow. Ugh. I, I should play the rant, but I can't play it uncensored. <laughs> I'll play you. it later. Don't worry about it. I got you. I got you. Uh, the first grouping of... You can't have it both ways. Literally, this comes from somebody that I know personally. All right. And I wish I had a radar gun for just how fast my palm hit my face seeing these two things pop up on her Insta twat back to back. Okay. See if you can spot the contradiction. If you could sue a woman for ending an unwanted pregnancy, then you should be able to sue a man for causing an unwanted pregnancy. Uh huh. Stupid, but biologically holds true. Mm -hmm. The very next thing that popped up, your birth certificate says male. Calm your tits, Carol. It also says seven pounds and a lot has changed since then. Okay, so we go from biological fact to magical thinking. And and that has really happened with the progressive. Yes, they live in a, they live in Peter Pan's Never Never Land. They fly around on fairy dust. They think you know unif- unicorn farts yep. are going to cure everything. They're out of their fucking mind. They don't even know how shit works. And we get shit from leftists who have said, "Well, you're not going to find any leftist who actually espouses both of those things." That's a straw man. Feast your eyes, motherfuckers. It is. <laughs> it's it right is. there. Both of those things came from the same person. They might not have been authored by the same person, but she espoused both views and put them out there as her own. Yep. 
Welcome to Thought Thursday. <laughs> it's a lot of stupid, these stupid bitches, man. Oh, it, it's 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 never ending. Oh, it's yeah. And I love this here. I found this little little meme comic here. Fear not, lady. I'll save you. Did you just assume my gender? Oh, yeah, she was already dead when I found her. (laughs) Uh, But, hey, you know, I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong. Apparently, we have video footage of a man actually giving birth. I mean, I never thought that I would see this in my life, but let's check it out. Uh, Come on. This is... oh. Oh! Oh! It's a boy! Ah! <laughs> he had a popper there. <laughs> no pun intended, right? Yeah, yeah, that's happened to me a few times. <laughs> and I think uh, I found a picture of exactly what this person looks like before they gave birth. There he is. The fresh prince of smell hair himself. Did you hear Cam- Cameron Diaz is pregnant? She's 47. Uh, get up, come on, get down with the syndrome. Get up, come on, get down with the syndrome. Yeah, that's, that's probably that's, not going to have a good outcome. That's not going to be. Chances good. are, it's well. Let's just say, there's a higher chance it won't end well. Yes. So, um, I mean, I hope it doesn't happen. Things are what they are. You know, but yeah, waiting till you're 47 to have kids. That, what the fuck is wrong with people today? I don't know. And like I can guarantee you, you're going to have all kinds of women idolizing her and trying the same thing, and they're not going to be able to pull it off because they don't have an endless pool of cash like Cameron <laughs> Diaz yep. had. And we got people in the chat like, I almost puked. <laughs> sorry, guy. Sorry, bro. Sorry. 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 Yeah, you'd rather have the virtue squirts. Yeah. <laughs> But there we go. Oh, th- those that's are, shiny. She had to have been sewn into that. Hang on, hang on. L- l- I'm looking at the picture. That is insane. You can see the reflection. That's what I'm of looking the at. Photographer. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's, that, those, that has to be cold. It's snowing out. It's got to be really cold. Yeah. So I, I'm wondering what it looks like in the front. You know. Yeah. Well, you dial you, a you put your phone. eye out. You need to wear safety glasses. Yeah, that's that. very correct. Uh, we have to talk about. Uh, well, you know, thinking about the children, well, all right, right? All right, hang on, hang on. All right, so there was this horrible <laughs> mass shooting, and the Democrats are, oh, that's right, they want to take your guns away so they can have their FEMA camps and herd you in there to re-educate you. Cause yeah, because that's nothing what they like want. that. Yeah, nothing like that's ever happened on yeah. our own soil, right? <coughs> Wounded knee. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. 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 If you don't know what that is, look it up. Yeah. Just saying. You know, we're going to take your guns away because we'll take care for of your own safety. We'll take care of everything for you. 250 men, women and children dead later. Uh, a bunch of Medal of Honors were given out. Yeah. Uh, fuck that. Yeah, that's bullshit. Yeah. Just a bit. Uh, but the left is still at it. So Democrats criticized the gun lobby following deadly Texas school shooting. You know, the gun lobby is like outspent by unions and various other, like big tech it's like yeah. 12 to 1 it's a huge deficit and i'm going to be honest with you we need to we need to be throwing more money at these gun lobby groups um because yeah. we need to have constitutional carry across the country and that'll shut down a lot of this horse shit about gun yep. control i am not a fan of gun control because it says right there in the constitution shall, shall not, not be, be infringed. infringed boom boom and don't let them pull the militia card on you the militia is anyone of fighting age the militia yep. is the people because you know we it, it, listen if you want to set up your own militia you can yeah because you are the militia, technically, right now. Yep. If you are a fighting age, you are the militia. And that's anywhere from 16 to 60. <laughs> yep. But we have to think of the children, Pop. Yeah. That's, that's their line right they now. They always do I, that. I love it. You have to think of the children. Um, except over here, where Colorado law allows post-birth abortion for up to 28 days, and this is also going to become legal in California, Stan. Yeah. Are we going to pick one? Yeah. Let's see. Um, I'm going to pick... Uh, Listen, these leftist states are going to implode. Yeah. It's going to be a clusterfuck. The thing is, that they want to say, oh, like, the vast majority of Americans want abortion. Yeah. They, no, they want don't. abortion with restrictions. You can find virtually no Americans who agree with abortion past 12 weeks. Yeah. What countries allow abortion beyond the first trimester? Uh, let's see. Um, the only three countries that allow elective abortions of any kind. Mm-hmm. China, oh, North Korea, wow. and the United States. What do those other two have in common? Yeah. 
Hmm. They Communism. Have, oh, sorry. Yeah, and they have what's they have in common what the Democrats and the progressives want here because it's working out so fucking great over there. I mean, when you put it all together with the poke and smoke, um, like the horrible things in our food that are banned in other countries, like high fructose corn syrup. Uh, or the, the GMOs. The, the puberty blockers, yep. the abortions and everything like that. Um, you can describe all of them under one umbrella, population reduction. I can't argue with you. I mean, just saying. I, I, I you're very wrong. accurate right there. I could be wrong. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this Colorado shit is out of out of fucking 28 days after birth. So you can literally walk in there, the kid's born, you just <laughs> fed them, you get a wild hair up your ass, you have postpartum depression, you just come in with a battle axe and, 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 yep. and perform your own abortion. Get the fuck out. Straight up murder. Yeah. And you know what you have to produce in order to get an abortion? An ID. But yeah. I thought that was racist. <laughs> Voter ID apparently is racist. But background checks for your enshrined constitutional right to self-preservation, uh, apparently they have to vote on those again. Uh -huh. If you check out the date in this article here, May 25th, 2022. Okay. Spurred by the latest, latest uh, deadliest school shooting and blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Uh... And then you go back seven years on uh -huh. the internet because the internet is forever. Uh, everything you need to know about federal background checks. This is July 11th, 2015. Uh, the, do we not already have these? Yeah, they climb up your ass when you fill out those forms. I man. love how they pretend that these things aren't already in place in every state. Yeah, and they want to they wanna actually pass more laws on top of those. And they want to keep... The thing is, they want... People to have guns who further their agenda. Mm -hmm. Could it be why the World Health Organization is no longer classifying certain things as mental illness? I'm not saying it's related, yeah. but I wouldn't be shocked. No, this is fucking stupid. Well, considering virtually every mass shooting is either carried out by a leftist or at the very least somebody who was raised in a fatherless home, uh -huh. I would say that they are directly responsible yeah, I for virtually the, all gun crime. I left a... I left a half a dozen comments on Facebook in regards to this mass shooting. Yeah. And I put in there like, hey, here's the here's the recipe. Broken home. Yeah. And, there, and single mothers create, you know, a rash of mass shooters. Yeah. Because when you show that big poster of all the mass shooters. Oh, yeah. You know, it, listen. It's, it's virtually the demographics of, of fatherless homes as yes. we know them. Correct. Correct. And like fatherless homes produce rapists. Yep. Drug addicts, prostitutes, self deletions. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Suicide. Yeah. I mean, it, it is just horrible what happens. And we are, we're just turning a blind eye to it. Like, ah, fuck yeah. it. Let it implode. And it's going to implode. It's going it to is. turn into a shit show for everyone. And prepare yourself because you're going to be cold. You're going to starve. People you love are going to die from violence and disease. And it didn't have to fucking happen. And we need to fucking blame the left. And the progressives for what they're fucking doing. When it comes to the other side of the fucking horrible stuff they created, we need to hold them accountable and make them fucking pay. Seriously, how did the left manage to commandeer the term progressive? They're uh, anything but. Yeah. I mean, stupid. unless you're talking about progressing toward a mass grave, in that case, I guess it would be fairly apt. Yeah, yeah. But, hey. You know, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong, right? Yeah, that one is maybe nice one. maybe we're just conspiracy theorists, which in modern vernacular means we're going to be completely empirically, scientifically correct in ninety days or less. Uh, how much of the stuff I've talked about in the past year and a half is starting to come true? Almost all of it. You called Russia months before it happened, and I told you exactly how it's going to play out. Exactly, I said, listen, they're going to try to fucking take it over real quick. They got two months worth of shit. Uh, saved up for for the campaign. If they go beyond twelve months, it's going to get really hard for them, yep. and that's exactly what's happening. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it's. <laughs> I just I just got to ask. Mm. Back to the the background checks. Thing. Yeah, yeah. We keep going off in the weeds, but anyone out there buy a gun? Didn't have to fill out a background check. Oh no. 
Didn't think so. So every time the left opens their mouth on this issue, I think Razor Fist said it best today. This issue is deader than Epstein, and most definitely it did commit suicide. Every time they open their mouth, this is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> every time every time every time <laughs> they're crying it what are you gonna do man what are you gonna do and it continues uh i, I was talking about this the other day you remember i've been saying this for a couple of months now it is going to be hysterically funny to when the, the whole Ukraine thing is over, I said, you know, for the left, they're going to go from being 1,000% in favor of a nationalist identity and an armed populace, and then as soon as that's over, they're going to flip on a dime and go back to guns bad, nationalism bad, there should be no borders. Now, we're seeing both at the same time. Yeah. It's beyond my wildest dreams it's <laughs> of <fucking> hypocrisy. Insane. <laughs> it's insane. Bottom line, lefties. If you are in favor of sending $40 billion, with a B, of our tax dollars over to a hostile foreign communist nation with neo-Nazi factions up the ass yep. to give them guns and arm their citizens, you have recognized with your tax dollars, your votes, and your stupid Twitter avatars that the only solution for invading bad guys with guns it's is good guys with, with guns. guns. Yeah, we're we're sending over, uh, you know, what is this? Stinger missiles, javelin missiles. Those are yep. expensive fucking platforms, and it's going to take probably two to three years to replace them all because of the shortage mm -hmm. in electric components that we don't fucking make here, which we fucking should. We yep. should make our own goddamn weapons from our own goddamn industries here in the United States. Yeah, we used to be a manufacturing nation. Yeah, Detroit was the fucking arsenal of democracy. Yeah. We literally built the weapons for the entire World War II. Amen. For the most part. Yeah. Jesus. But now we that's, have that's to listen an, to that is a nice one. fucking morons like Whoopi Goldberg. Here we go. The I am view. so sick and tired of hearing about this fat-ass bitch. She is 1,000% behind Ukraine, and she goes off on Republicans criticizing Biden on Ukraine aid, but not Trump. Where the hell we all? Well, we clearly were not where you were, which was the buffet. Mm -hmm. And yet, here we are, not even a year later. Whoopi Goldberg threatens AR-15 owners. Get ready. We're coming for them. All right, you fat bitch. Uh, care to explain this to me? Mm -hmm. Oh! Ooh. Puta Solo. Oh, that's actually quite... The resemblance is uncanny. That's quite fitting. I'll drink to that. <laughs> it's quite fitting. I'm just saying, why don't we... Uh, you know, they're like, are we not going to hold these people to their own rhetoric? We should, right? If you're if you're behind Ukraine, you don't get to open your mouth about the Texas shooting and say that we we need to take guns away. Listen, because you know what stopped the Texas school shooting? A, a good guy with a gun. Yeah, and that happens correct. every time because when you don't have a gun and somebody is coming after you with a gun, who do you call? The Ghostbusters. Amen. But I'm talking about good guys with guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. I was waiting for it. As I've, I've set you up for it, and you, ooh, off into the stands. I, I'm just fucking. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, that's usually how it works. But the thing yeah. is, feminism has weakened men to be like women. Yep. So when things like this happen, you get a bunch of these women sitting outside fig wondering what what who's gonna who's gonna fix it uh, i'm not going in there we're gonna uh. fix it anyway. yeah it's a bunch of bullshit and then you have i mean on top of that as if Whoop whoopi goldberg were not bad enough mm -hmm. i mean wow and somebody wants a blake will the father be able to abort the baby after birth yeah we've already made that joke <laughs> <laughs> I'd say, I mean, if you can abort a child up to 28 days after birth as a woman, I mean, as a man, you can't walk in there and snap an infant's neck and say, well, I just didn't want to be stuck with the mother. Yeah. I mean, Sorry, do you I have mean, any idea how evil that is? It is pure that evil. That is fucking pure evil. Yep. And ironically, when you put all of it together under that, that umbrella of population reduction, 
when you screech about not being able to go and abort your babies, and by the way, 61% of all black homicides are abortions. <laughs> Margaret Sanger, look it up. Think about that. You yep. It's a real thing. Um, aren't you helping and throwing more power to the same patriarchy that you allegedly want to destroy? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm just asking questions. Yeah. <laughs> think about that. That's That's quite deep. Yeah, balls deep. Mm -hmm. That's probably why you're at the clinic in the first place. Corey Bush. Oh, God. Here we go. We, we got on the subject of the police, and then I was like, you know what? That, that cunt deserves a little bit of time, too. She, while wanting to defund the good guys with guns, yep. has spent over $300,000 of taxpayer funds on her own private, private security. security. That needs to come to an end. Yeah. You, I mean, listen. I don't. I don't give a fuck who you are, unless you unless you ha are a president and you have the benefit of Secret Service. If you want to have uh, anything above and beyond that, it needs to come out of your own fucking pocket. I'm sick of fucking flipping the bill for your these walking sore mouse. Yeah. That all they want to do is take your fucking rights away and turn you into a fucking slave. And the only thing that's stopping that from happening. Happening is a country with an ass load of fucking guns. Yeah. A first and a second amendment, and you can't defend one without, without the, the other. other. Yep. Why do you think the World Economic Forum says we need to talk about a recalibration of things like free speech? A lot of people out there have no idea who Klaus Schwab is, and it fucking shows. Yep. Oh, my God. It's mm. quite atrocious. And then, of course, you know... We got to take it all back to Texas because even the good guys with guns apparently are not always good guys with Didn't guns. Didn't I say it, they were probably turned into a bunch of feminized bitches? Well, uh, there is that Supreme Court decision that you brought to my attention and to yep. the attention of a lot of people that sh you know basically says the police are under no obligation whatsoever. That's right. To save your life or protect or you. protect you in any way. Yeah. If you want protection, you need to protect yourself. The best way to do that is with a, a mechanical advantage called a GUN. Yes. Police stood outside the school while mass murderer Salvador Ramos went on a killing spree, yes. and armed police actually Fuck, this is pissing pinned me off. one man to the ground. It's actually a father of one of the kids inside of the school. Now, this reminded me of something. These cops were outside for more than 40 minutes holding the line or whatever the shit it was. Doesn't this sound familiar? I believe this has happened in the past. I believe this has happened in the very recent past. I, I think it's happened at virtually every school shooting we've had. Or virtually every Mass burn, shooting. loot, and murders, fiery but peaceful protests. That's right. So property is at risk. Mm -hmm. uh, livelihoods, money, uh, people's lives. I mean, you just you yeah. delayed on the line. In this case, we have children. And the, the only, only... When it is a leftist sanctioned attack, we hold back. Yep. That's bullshit. Yeah. Listen. Because I you notice that when the fiery but peaceful protests got to the rich suburbs, all of a sudden the police were there to form a line. Uh-huh. Because that was when the lefts were, un were under attack. And here's, here's another story. Uh, a lot of these insurance companies in in cities where the police were ordered to hold back and all this damage happened, they're not yeah. paying. Their, they're not paying the, the claims, mm -hmm. and I don't blame them. I wouldn't either. And uh, you pair all that up with this because you know the Democrats are using this to try to take your guns. Well, uh, they were the ones who introduced the bill to get police out of schools in the first place. Yep. Listen, we have so many guys out there that are retired military, retired retired law enforcement. You can have people there, you know, as guards or whatever. Yeah. These people will volunteer, especially if their children go there. Yep. Yes, they will. And you can't, I mean, their own actions prove they know that good, men's, good men with guns are the solution to bad men with guns because Ukraine, Cori Bush with her 300000 on personal security. Uh-huh. This is on purpose. And now... The left wants you to believe that an 18-year-old unemployed 
crossdresser who lives with his grandma can afford over four thousand dollars in weaponry and armor. We're going to show you that. And smoke his grandma and then go into a school where the police just happen to stay outside and let him do his business for nearly an hour. I sent you a link. He was outside the school for like 12 minutes mm-hmm. shooting into the school. Yep. I, I, that, that is the rumor. I, I don't know if it's true or not. This is all rumor control. Yeah, it's all rumor control Listen, here. I mean, I'm not going to call, I'm not ready to call this 1000% a fabricated national emblem, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. But people die during those all the time. It doesn't mean that they aren't real. It just means that they're orchestrated and arranged. When or you or, line all these pieces up, it sounds a little... It, it sounds fishier than a Kardashian well, brothel. What, well, what I'm going to say is this. He's saying arranged. I'm saying it was allowed to happen. Because I can guarantee you there were warning signs and they were ignored. Well, um... Just saying. I, I would agree with you. Except for the fact that he was clearly financed. Yeah, let's go to that page where he can show exactly what uh, weapons he was. We know exactly what sort of weapons Salvador Ramos had. They were AR-15 rifles, and here are the photos of them right here. Uh We can't find the exact matches. Well, we can't for the bottom one, the one to the left. The one on the right, we can't find an exact match. Yeah. But But I'm going to tell you right now. Basically, bottom line, you're looking at a bare minimum of $4,000 just for the guns themselves, not even including the ammunition and the armor. And the thing that's really, I find fishy is this. If he is 18 years old and unemployed and he he had a hard time getting money, you can buy AR platforms for four... Make five, six, seven hundred bucks. He's paying four times the amount of money for the weaponry that he had than what you can get. So, I mean, that is really fishy right there. Yeah. Like I said, it's fishier than a Kardashian brothel. It yeah. stinks. Yeah. It absolutely stinks. And it, and it just happens to, these always happen mm-hmm. when they want to push their fucking agenda. Yeah. I mean, this couldn't possibly have anything to do with the fact that we are looking at the biggest midterm bloodbath uh, in history. And I want to see that happen. No pun intended, considering the other subject. And here's another thing. Now that we've destroyed the nuclear family, right, we are witnessing the collapse of our civilization because of it. Yep. And you're going to have more of these lone wolves, and then sooner or later they're going to pack up. And they're going to get even dangerous, way more dangerous. Yeah. Get ready for that because it's coming. It's uh, it's going to be real interesting. If you That's don't have an AR-15 and six mags, you're fucked. Uh, I mean, just to put all the pieces together yourself. All of these sources, all of these resources are available on redonculus.com. Go there, look them over yourself. We're just giving you an overview. Yeah. And no, listen, never take our word for it because no, no. we don't want you to take the talking boxes name for it, or their word for it, and you, you shouldn't take our word for yeah, it. We don't run a fucking cult. No. <laughs> I'm, I, you, like, I'm not here to have a bunch of people who are 100%, whatever you say, whatever you do. No, you do. I'm not a, listen, I don't want bobbleheads. I want people who can fucking think for themselves, listen to me speak. They might not agree with everything, but go, you know what? I should probably look into that. Probably. That goes a long fucking way. Yeah. We want to wake you up and not put you to sleep. That's right. Okay. You have the, the woke left. The, the, these these fuckers are on Ambien. They're just <laughs> they're doing a, they want you to be asleep because you're easier to round up and control. They yeah. do it with fear, and then they have the stick, and then they have the carrot. Yep. And, not so much carrots nowadays because we're now feeling the effect of the carrots they gave us last year yeah. for the you know stimulus bullshit. That's another thing. Yeah, you, you got your twelve hundred, your three twelve hundred dollar mm-hmm. checks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know what that cost you. Uh, $5 a gallon in gasoline, yep. $7 a gallon in diesel, 40% increase in your heating bill, 30% increase in your electric bill. Shut the fuck up and learn nothing is fucking free. Yeah. God uh, damn it. Hold up that bottle. Hold up that bottle. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, not the one that, that you can see through there. The clear one. That's right in front of you. The big one, Pop. <laughs> that right there let's say that that amount of whiskey right there represents 
every bit of our wealth accumulated uh-huh. as a country across the board. Now, when you have three glasses from that whiskey, that'll fuck you up and put you to bed early. Yep. But if you suddenly double the amount of glasses and you still only have the same amount of whiskey, but you, you pour have water to, in there, yeah, you have to redisperse all of that across, and maybe you can add some debt to it in the form of water and ice to make it look like more. But at the end of the day, you went from something that's going to fuck you up and put you to bed early to something that's not even going to give you a pleasant buzz. Yeah. That's inflation in a nutshell, and you did it to us. That's right. Fuck you. Fuck the left and they wonder why democrats are jumping ship like the first white bitches off the titanic it's not here's the thing the <laughs> hardcore democrats are going to stick on the left They're the idiots. people that are jumping ship are basically the middle independent kind of guys who are semi-democrat back in the day and they realize the democrats have become full-on communists it's yeah. fucking insane they're doing everything communists do except accepting the title of fucking communism yep God damn it. And even then, you still have people who come out like Jim Carrey, like, we need to remove the stigma that comes with the term socialism. Shut the fuck up and go back to pretending to be Dr. Robotnik, okay? When you give motivational speeches, you're fine. When you talk political, you're an idiot, Jim Carrey, Yeah. okay? Just just be a physical comic, make us laugh, and shut up the rest of the time. Yeah, hundreds of millions of people died at the hands of socialism and communism. In fact, so many were fucked fucking killed and starved they don't even have the number yeah that's a huge fucking number and they want that here yep because the left they have this grandiose idea of how the world should be but they don't seem to understand you can't make the world that way for free no so they're gonna bring this shit in and like we're gonna make a greater world and it's gonna be great and then they're gonna ignore all the millions of people that are fucking starving Because it happens every single time. I think they know that that happens, and that's why instead of using facts, they've emotionalized their politics, and they're trying to instill it in children at younger and younger ages so they don't question it. That's right. They know it's bad. They know that eventually it's going to fuck up this entire planet. They don't care. Nope. Because they're stupid enough to think that when, at the end of the day, when they're rounding up the brown shirts, they're going to be party members sitting up there, you know, you know sipping their, their foo-foo drinks with their pinky out and stuff. No, that's not what's going to nah. happen. You're going to be in the field working with the backhoe, and if you're not doing that, you're going to get shot and put into a hole in the ground. That's right. You're useful idiots, and that's what happens to them. <laughs> uh, but you go ahead and keep smashing the patriarchy, ladies, doing a bang-up job. Absolutely correct. Wow. Uh, let's just end it with that one. <laughs> before we go to all tech, let's let's do another roll call. Gonna do a quick roll hour. call here before we go to new tech and let Pop drain his squirrel bladder. Hope everybody's enjoying the show. We're going to read your super chats after we do some fucked up but funny on new tech. Mm-hmm. We got 87 currently watching on Twitch, 72 on DLive. Odyssey's rocking it at 86. Rumble is sitting at 599. Outstanding. And we got Wayward Scholar on there who says go to crtrlcontrolpew.com and look up the U-Bolt version 2 printable AR-15 lower and you have a ghost gun. That's how absurd gun control is. I'm going to copy that so that I can paste it in the chat for everybody. Yep, do that. And um, actually, email me a copy of that link to Redonkus 12 so I can send uh, it Wayward out. Scholar with a $10 donation says, Good evening, gents on Rumble. Thank you very much, ladies and germs. Over on MGTOW.TV, we have 59. And YouTube is sitting comfortably at 847, but we're still lighting the likes, dudes. Come on, man. 577 out of over 800 people. Smash that shit. Smash that shit or I smash you. Uh, yeah. Bitch. Bitch. Bitches. All right, one last but. That's nice. Yeah. And we're going to head on over to New Tech. So if you're on YouTube, take a look for those links in the chat so you can follow us over. We're going to be reading your chats after we show you guys some hilarious videos. We'll see you in five. Yep.